Hi, I'm Mark Tool with 8020service.com, and today's customer service video question of the day comes from Quora. The question is, customer service representatives, what do you wish you could say to rude customers? And there really are no real answers to this. It's kind of just what I expected. Uh, we got two negative, one positive. We have a guy who's the front desk operations at major hotel chain says, get off my phone. And somebody else in France says, I'm on your side. And a guy in India says, if you don't like the product, blame yourself for your stupidity in purchasing it. Okay. Not what this answer is going to be. This answer is not from the perspective of a disgruntled call center agent or anything like that. I'm not going to give you that answer. Someone who is forced to deal with unpleasant people all day long and would be punished if they responded honestly to these people. Um, if you run a business where your customer service is run by people like this, NPCs in my, as I call them, uh, you've probably got more problems than you realize here. But I'm going to answer this from my perspective, what should be your perspective, what should be the perspective of a correctly run business. What do I wish I could say to rude customers? Nothing. Now, what do I now what do I wish my customer service agents could say to rude customers? Nothing. What do I wish that my customer service agents or myself could say to non-rude customers? Nothing. Okay. So, I'll explain. This this is not some take the high road, um, let people scream at you, turn the other cheek, Jesus Christ kind of style thing. This is not what I'm talking about either. What I'm talking about is how do you, what do you say to rude customers is an idea of like, oh, this guy's rude. I wish I could be rude back to him. I wish I could escalate this and create a problem and tell him that his mother stinks like a goat and all this other stuff. That would make me feel so much better about my shitty NPC call center job. Not what I'm talking about when I say nothing, when I wish I could say nothing to them. Rude customers, friendly customers, polite customers, any kinds of customers in a properly run online business, you shouldn't have to be talking to them at all. Now, let's talk about this situation, the rude customer, where they come from, how they got that way, how an intelligent business prevents this. What do they have in common? Well, first of all, they're upset about something. Now, generally speaking, in customer service, if your customer, well, let's say if, if many of your customers are upset about the same thing or confused about the same thing or asking you about the same thing or contacting you about the same thing, whether they're rude or not, um, that's a problem. And that's a, a mistake on your part, something you're not doing right. Even the friendliest, most polite customer contacting you about an issue should still be considered to be a dissatisfied customer because they had the issue. So, what do these people have in common? They are dissatisfied. Now, what else? Well, they're contacting you. They're dissatisfied about something and they have to contact you about it. And when they escalate to the point of being rude, it's usually because their dissatisfaction is not met with whatever they're expecting. If they're expect if they're dissatisfied about something, and let's say you're one of these businesses that's still running a call center, and this guy picks up the phone and calls you, and he thinks he's going to have a person be like, "Hey, man, I'm really upset about this thing. I try, I paid for this service. It's not showing up on the website. I need access to this thing now." And he thinks that the phone is going to ring a couple of times, and a person will answer, and he'll go, okay. And instead, he gets half a ring, and then he goes, beep, right in his ear. And he's like, fucking thing, throws his phone up in the air, catches it, misses half of the, the thing. But it's talk, the computerized voice is talking about some award for quality service he won in 2003. And goes on to list a bunch of irrelevant menu options. He's like, gosh, I hate these things. And it interrupts itself to say, I'm sorry, I don't understand. And then it starts, you know, all the, all the stuff you're all familiar with. I'm not going to go all down that chain again, but he gets that. Eventually, he swears at it or pounds zero enough times that he gets a hold of someone. And what he gets a hold of is an NPC reading off a script. Thank you for the company's name. I'd be happy to help you out with customer's problem. May I have... You verify a bunch of irrelevant security information, sir. 
he's rude because of the situation that you're putting because something wasn't right and then he's rude because to have you make it right to have you fix your mistake whether you consider it to be your mistake or not as a company it generally is he's got to jump through all these ridiculous hoops and things like that so let's get back to my answer here i want to say nothing to him i want my agents to say nothing to him i want no one to say anything to him why because i don't want him to contact us i don't want him contacting us at all I don't want the issue to happen. I don't want there to be a problem. I don't want there to be a question. I want the business to do it right and prevent that from happening before it ever does. Now, that's a that's an ideal. That's a goal. It's not going to happen 100% of the time. People will still have questions, issues. Things might not work right, and you'll need to respond to that. Then it's just simply a matter of not doing the things that piss this person off to the point where they go from dissatisfied to rude or whatever other term you want to use. Uh, if you have a lot of people contacting your business who are rude or angry or irate or upset or any of these, these terms people like to throw around in this area, it's a sign you're doing something wrong. If that many of your customers hate you, what are you doing? Fix that. And... If, even if your product is good, your service is good, everything works well, if your customer service process is so bad and unpleasant, then people are going to become upset just simply by that. And that's what I'm talking about here. I don't want anyone to say anything to rude customers because I don't want there to be rude customers. I want the business to anticipate and prevent as many customer problems as possible before they happen and for the things that can't be prevented, handle them quickly, intelligently, properly, in a non-infuriating fashion. It's really not that complicated. It is somewhat more difficult in practice sometimes, but really it just comes down to keeping things simple, focusing on the things that matter most, to, at, to the exclusion of the things that don't matter or the things that make things worse. That's why the website's 8020service.com, the 8020 principle, focusing on the small number of things that have the biggest impact on the real things you care about, which is not customer service, it's customer satisfaction, customer attention, and yes, profits. That's what this is really about, and having people forced to deal with rude customers all day to the point where they go on Quora to fantasize about the mean things they would say if they wouldn't be punished by the boss man for doing so, that's just not an intelligent way to do customer service. There's a lot of businesses that do that. And it kind of works for them for now, I guess. But that's changing. It's going to continue to change. And sooner rather than later, I think, they're going to realize the cost of their inaction, of their complacency, complexity, whatever you want to call it. They're going to realize that they missed out on all the benefits they could get by doing things right. That's why I do these videos. That's why I talk about this stuff. That's why I write about this stuff. Um, both in response to questions on Quora and on the website, 8020service.com, with a daily email list as well. Email going out shortly if you're watching this live or close to live. I know it's not live. Um, but for those of you unfamiliar, I do one of these videos every weekday on a customer service question on Quora in response to a question someone asked me. If you have a question, you can ask me on Quora. You can ask me in the comments on YouTube if you're watching there. Like, upvote, thumbs up, subscribe, follow, all of those things. And I will be back tomorrow with another video.